How do ducks work? Well, that's probably a question that has been on your mind for a really long time. I mean, why else would you have clicked on this video? Luckily, today we're going to find out. By But first things first, let's conduct some research. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, field day today. Because if we want to build a better duck, we first have to get some intel on our suspect, the duck. Okay, we're back in the lab. Let's conclude our research on the duck. I have some technical drawings here and we're going to focus on a few major components that we found. First and foremost, we've got our hull that the duck needs to stay afloat. We also have a propulsion system, which is presumably mostly made of feet. And we also have some energy source to drive everything and presumably even a brain. And of course, we also want to implement some kind of remote control because we want to be the gods of our new creation. Let's start with how the ducks move. I already did some research on that in the field. So according to my research, these birds are mostly flightless, just like penguins. They mostly use their feet to walk around on land and swim in the water. Okay, so the major mode of proportion seems to be feet focused. So we have to find some way to emulate the feet movement. But feet seem to be quite complicated. They are like paddly things, you need some kind of mechanic to move them. And I'm an electrical engineer, so I have a much better solution. Let's just imagine for a second, you took the duck feet and formed them into some kind of a round shape. Let's call it a propeller. And then you put it on some kind of device that makes it to move in rotations. Well, that's what I got off the internet right here. It's a propeller mounted to a motor. It also comes with a little speed controller so we can control it. We're going to use two of those for good measure. I almost forgot about the other major part, the hull. Luckily, I found this one at a local hardware store. It seems to be some kind of duck replacement part and it is even reinforced, so it should be able to obliterate all of the other ducks on the lake. Next up, energy. Ducks seem to be mostly focused on eating green gooey stuff that's swimming around on the lake to generate their power. And we could build some kind of bioreactor to replicate that and generate electricity. But once again, I'm an electrical engineer and I've got a better solution. Batteries. Once again, we're going to go with two of these for good measure. We still need our brain. Luckily I've got some other projects where I already built a functioning brain, like this one. This is the Minic Enterprise and this video is kind of the unofficial release of that side project that I've been working on for three years, so check it out. Anyways, we're going to rip it apart. This right here is the brain, an 8266 Wi-Fi microcontroller. And thanks to this, we can just use a phone to control it via Wi-Fi. I am quite sure that we covered it all, so let's go to the workshop and build the thing. I'm in my basement now and I've got the duck with me. And I've got this little box that I'm going to use to place all of the electronics inside. But if we place it on top, the duck is probably going to tip over. Trust me, I tried it. So we have to cut the duck. Cut the duck. Cut the duck. Cut the duck. Okay, now this looks like the most cursed lunchbox that I've ever seen. But it works. Time to focus on the bottom. Our duck is flat. Real boats are not flat. Let's fix that using expensive tools.
put our deck aside and focus on the electronics. Here's the schematic that can also be found on the Instructables page about the project, together with all the other technical details. Anyways, let's put in some love and hot glue and make it a reality. Everything is nicely hidden inside, so now all we have to do is turn it on. Ah yes, we still have to program it. Let's open it up real quick and program the thing using a USB cable. But before we can do that we also have to switch up the software a little bit, because we went from this to this and switched to much bigger motors as well. But hey, it's only a couple of lines of code, so it should be easy, right? Right? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And I'm glad that it didn't work first time because, well, if something works that easy, it's not even fun, let's be realistic. Also, if you ever decide to build a duck yourself, you can check out this world's first duck flashing website that I made in the process, which makes it super easy to program it so you don't have to struggle like I did. Let's turn it on for real. Next up we're gonna connect our phone to it using Wi-Fi, as mentioned before. And then we're going to head to a little website called 1.2.3.4, which is the IP of the duck. We actually have a connection and our little UI that allows us to control the motors. Let's see if they spin. Oh yeah, they do. Let's take her out for a spin. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, time for another field test. Let's go. I gotta say, my duck is quite relaxing, but, well, let's be honest, it's not the fastest. And maybe not even necessarily a better duck. But hey, we managed to make half of it, we built our own duck, and maybe you will even get an update next time. So, follow for more. Oh, and you may also want to check out the Instructables page on the project, where I wrote down all of the little details about this. And of course my very own world's first duck flashing website. Links for both can be found in the description, and I'll see you next time. Bye!